The Moving Iron Podcast is brought to you by these great sponsors. Are you looking to value your equipment more accurately? Target the right buyers and close more deals? Reach your ideal customer? Then look no further. Fusible isn't just about ag data. It's about action. Our best-in-class solution empowers you to value your equipment accurately, make informed decisions, and find the perfect prospects. Ignite your dealership's growth at fusible.com slash moving iron dash podcast. Out in the field, every decision counts. You wouldn't plant without testing your soil, so why would you prospect blind? Introducing EDA, your one-stop shop for ag equipment intel. EDA goes beyond specs and prices. You get deep dive data on every piece of equipment like UCC filings that help track ownership changes and uncover potential sales leads. D&B firmographics, which help you understand the financial health and buying power of potential customers. Market trends that help you stay ahead of the curve and insights on equipment demands and pricings. With EDA, you're not just looking at data, you're seeing opportunity. You find the right buyer, sell smarter, and build lasting relationships. Visit edadata.com for your free demo and unlock the power of knowledge. For over 80 years, Iron Solutions has been your go-to data source for ag dealers, lenders, and manufacturers. Get powerful appraisal and value forecasting tools that fuel profitable decisions anytime, anywhere. Get your free demo at ironsolutions.com. Iron Solutions, confidence in every click. Today, there are many ways to finance ag equipment. But nobody delivers simple, fast, or flexible financing like AgDirect. Learn more about your options to buy, lease, and refinance equipment at agdirect.com. Valley Transportation has been hauling ag and construction equipment across the country for the past 33 years. Call Parker at 800-657-4910 for all your trucking needs. At Valley Transportation, our goal is to help you reach yours. When you partner with Axon, you immediately gain access to a full range of products and solutions designed to meet the complex needs of today's grower. We carry all major brands and sizes of tires and wheels. We specialize in large diameter wheels for large equipment. We have one of the largest OEM replacement wheel inventories in North America. Known for extreme flotation setups, duals, and triples, we have wheels for all makes and models of tractors, sprayers, combines, and grain carts. If we don't have the wheel in stock, we'll custom build, sandblast, and paint in-house. There isn't a more vast inventory in North America dedicated to helping dealers move more iron. With facilities on the West Coast and in the heart of the Midwest, leverage our 230,000 square feet of indoor inventory to solve any problem a grower may have. Move more iron with Axon. Moving iron in the 21st century. Hardworking people working hard for you and me. Moving iron time and time again. Through the years you'll find us here. Welcome to Moving Iron Podcast. I've got Parker Johnson back here again from Valley Transportation to talk about what's going on in the world trucking. Parker, how you doing, man? Excellent. Another sunny day here in Minnesota. How about you? You know, I'm doing all right. Are you uh, close to where they had all the rain? Uh, so we're, 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 we're pretty close. Yeah, I mean, we had we had plenty, but like uh, <clears throat> where, where I live and farm, it's it's a little hillier, so we didn't have, you know, we didn't have cold underwater and stuff like that, yeah. but just northwest of us i mean i was out there on vacation over the fourth of july and man there was there was lakes there's lakes all over that place anyway but there's <laughs> right. more lakes after that so, now, so now you're instead of a land of a thousand lakes you're a land of about ten thousand lakes i don't know i guess yeah. it's 10, well, it, lakes, right? it's, yeah it's said to be the land of ten thousand lakes yeah yeah there's way more than that yeah so you know we've we've definitely had a wet uh wet summer this year but uh it's been a little bit dry here here now we're getting getting small rains not yeah. In it. Right. Yep. No, that's that's uh that's good. Need some of that need to subside. There's some crazy videos coming out of that part of the world as far as standing water and houses falling into the 
side of rivers yeah. and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's yeah, a lot of, water, a lot of like, craziness. When you're on that dam, I mean, that's probably an hour <clears throat> or so away from us. And is it? That, so that uh, that house eventually eventually went in. And that's too bad. But yeah, too bad. That water's the that water's a crazy thing. Yep, for sure, for sure. It's yeah, nuts. So let's talk a little bit about what's going on, man. So you got some, you got a, you got a big announcement here. Let's let's talk a little bit about your announcement here and what, what you guys have cooking. Yeah, absolutely. We're extremely excited about it. Uh, as of August first, we will be Machinery Pete's uh, uh, partner in their shipping department on the on their website. So that's awesome. Any uh, any and all equipment that you're checking out on Machinery Pete's website, and uh, you you want a quote request, you click a button, it goes directly to me. I'll have uh, I'll have a quote back to you just as soon as I possibly can. Uh, so we're uh, we're very excited for for that opportunity and and uh, what it could bring bring for us you know in the future here with the uh, excess freight coming in. Absolutely, I think that's a an amazing uh, opportunity for you guys, and I think uh, the customers out there that are used to working with Valley Transportation know what that's like. So if you haven't had a chance to work with Valley, man, reach out to those guys. You'll get a quote back faster than the. Uh, than, uh, than you think you would. So it's it's amazing how fast they get that stuff turned around. But the other side of that stuff too, that's really cool about Valley and, and my experience working with you guys is that you understand what you're hauling. You know, you don't you don't have to call me and ask me if the combines have the big tires on the front. You don't I don't get that question from you guys. So it's <laughs> it's 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 the uh, it's it's a great opportunity I think for the people out there that are getting stuff. They're going to get a professional grade uh, group of people out there that are going to do some cool things for you. Yeah, we'll make it uh, make it as easy as we possibly can for you. You know, there's uh, we we know what we're doing over here. So you do. Yeah, every time you click that button, it comes directly to me. I see it. I'll see everything that comes across my email and mm -hmm. get back to you just as soon as I possibly can. Yep. And the nice thing about you guys too is that you're not just a brokerage service, right? You got your own trucks. How many trucks do you guys run? Uh, you know, anywhere from 180 to 120 or uh, 180 to 200, depending on the day. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're looking to expand and. You know, that's what you need to expand is more freight. Right, for sure. And then you also have a brokerage side of your business too that they can offset. If you guys are tied up, you got another another way to go too to even make it go uh, even one step further. So kind of a total package when it comes to the, the transportation hauling side of the business. Right, and our brokerage department is actually very knowledgeable as well. You know, we're not, uh, mm -hmm. you know, some, some guy working in the, their mom's basement or something like that. Right. Uh, yeah. they, they have a very good understanding of the equipment that we do haul. Yep. And you guys have been doing this for what, 30, 35 years. 35 years now? Yeah. So you have plenty of experience there with what's going on. Oh. Well, that's awesome. So I'm glad, glad you guys are uh, going to make that happen. And I think, uh, again, Machine Pete's going to have a good, uh, good partner. And when it comes to the freight side of it, so we're looking forward to how those things play out for you guys. Yeah. It'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. You stopped in the other day and we had a good long talk with them and did a little promo video and picture shoot with them. And mm -hmm. So that'll be all going live August 1st. And and uh, yeah, we, we're thrilled to start that journey with him. That'd be good, man. Well, that'd be that'd be a great opportunity for you. Um, as you take a look at what's going on right now, let's talk a little bit about the freight side of stuff. What you, what do you see happening out there in the marketplace? What what's being moved around the most? What's what do you what do you see happening right now? You know, I mean, construction continues to move. Ag is definitely taking a dive. It seems like you know, I mean, the crop prices are. Uh, in the tank, I guess, yep. you know, <laughs> nice way of putting it. Yep. Um, you know, the first four months of this year, I mean, the numbers that, you know, the, the stuff we were hauling was looking good and it's kind of been slowing down ever since. And every summer you kind of go through that little lull, but you know, I ho I'm hoping, hoping next month and, and into fall, it really picks up here. Yep. Um, you know, I mean, freight is definitely still coming in. You know, it takes a lot of freight to keep 180 trucks busy, but uh, the nice thing is, you know, with it being a little slower, things are getting picked up, you know, very quickly. Um, there ain't much, uh, ain't much lead time. You tell me to get something picked up, and it, it, it's on a truck in a few days usually. Yeah. Uh, you know, another nice thing about it being a little bit slower is gives us the time to, you know, like I told you earlier, get out, <clears throat> get out and go meet some of the customers. You know, that have been loyal to us for many years, and uh, even drumming up some new business with, uh, you know, contacts that you know we might haul a few things for here and there, and uh, get on the phone with them and and uh you know create more right you right. know for sure it's uh it's it's good and bad yep for sure the uh customers that you're talking to right now give a little background on what you're hearing come out of their mouths about what uh what they see happening in the marketplace yeah i mean it's the same deal i talked to another guy or a guy the other day and 
you know, I hadn't talked to him in a few, probably a month or so. And he said, well, the ag stuff's really slowed down. And he's been shooting me some quotes on a little lawn tractor. He goes, well, the lawn and garden, that's always moving. So, mm-hmm. but uh, it seems like that big equipment slowed down a little bit. And uh, Waterloo, you know, out of the factory and John Deere, they, they're yeah. closed. I think they're closed the week of uh, July, whatever. The last week of July, they're closed down for just, you know, maintenance and stuff like that. But I haven't read any of the reports, but you see you see headlines all over the place, all these layoffs coming through with John Deere and Agco, too. I seen that the other day, and, you know, I, I think they kind of go through that every year, but uh, it just sucks to see. Yeah, it does. It does. I, I don't know. I think some of the stuff that you see coming out of the factories and those kind of things are, um, I think they overshoot that quite a bit, uh, unfortunately, I think, in a lot of cases because they uh, – <clears throat> They kind of rip the, the guts out of everything, and then you're running on a skeleton crew, and then you're trying right. to trying to make things happen on, on the other side. So it's it's never never a good deal when that comes through for anybody um, that's involved yeah, in that. The week before they shut down and the week after they shut down, it's like nothing happens. Right. You know, they're, they're slowing down to, to have that week off, and then it takes them a little while to get back into the groove of things. It seems like. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's going to be a going to be a a turbulent run here. I think you know, looking out, I look at some stuff, and I. I kind of see 25 being a little bit like, like 24 and maybe, maybe slightly better into 26, but um, it's, it's going to be uh we got, we got a lot of used equipment to get through. Um, I don't care who my manufacturer you are. You got a lot of, a lot of stuff to get through right. and uh, it's going to be, uh, it's, it's going to be one of those times where you just kind of figure your way through what it is and sooner or later you find out what the new normal is and plug away with what you got, you know? Yeah, I think the auction companies are probably, uh, probably getting a little bit busier this year than the years past yeah yeah they got they got a few more things listed out there um i mean a couple of years ago you didn't need an auction company to sell your equipment you could do it by yourself and for sure yeah for now sure uh, now the lots are kind of full again and you know there's you know pretty pretty new equipment that's you know a year or two old that's used and there's not a place for it yep for sure is there a uh yeah, a good good reason, you, good thing you brought that up because I was going to ask you this anyway. But you know, with, with the amount of auction activity that you're seeing, what's a what's probably the easiest way for for folks to, if they will need something hauled or to at least get a quote on something? You know, because majority of stuff's getting sold online. So, I guess what, what's a what's an easy avenue for you guys to get to? If I'm a end user guy that wants to get something trucked back from point A to point B, right? Yeah, just give me a call at eight hundred six five seven four nine one zero or uh, shoot me an email at pjohnson at valleytransinc.com and, you know, be, I'll have something to you here just as quick as you can because obviously the trucking part of it comes into that, what you want willing to pay on that auction price. Sure. And it's, uh, you know, anymore you start looking at the price of equipment and, and trucking it used to be a big part of it and anymore. It's it's a right. fraction of a, of a percent. <laughs> yeah, a couple thousand bucks on a million dollar combine ain't too much. It don't, it don't take long, right? It doesn't take long to get right. that squared away. Yeah, um, no, so, I mean the, the you know trucking has you know obviously went up. Fuel is expensive, equipment sure. expensive, but you know it hasn't went up nearly as uh, nearly as much as equipment costs. That's for sure. That's definitely for sure. Um, as you are kind of setting the stage here, if the uh, you know the guys listening to this. What what's the one or two things that you want to make sure that when they call in and talk to you, what's the one or two things they need to make sure they have when they uh, when they give you guys a call? Yeah, I mean, as long as I have uh, the make and model of the tractor, combine, whatever the equipment may be, um, where it's coming from, the town it's going to, um, whether or not there's loading docks at at uh, shipper and receiver. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, if it's got a, if it's a tractor combine, if it's got duals, they have to come off. Um, otherwise I can pretty much take it from there. As long as I have, have a couple zip codes and make and model, that's all I need. Everything right. else is up here. That's right. <laughs> Still trap, right? <laughs> yeah. It's something else. I can't remember what my wife told me yesterday, but ask me the dimensions of a combine or the weight of a combine. I don't know what. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know the feeling. I know the feeling. So, well, yeah, Parker. Take it. Don't take much information. I, I can, I can kind of figure it out from there. Right on, man. We're good. Well, exciting news, man. I'm, I'm, you guys have got something cool going on here with Machine Repeat. I think you guys are going to, all the people out here listening to this, if you haven't worked with Valley Transportation before, um, you know, make sure you do that. I was working with Valley Transportation long before I started doing this podcast. So they, uh, I've been, a, I think I've worked with you guys for probably 10 or so years now, maybe longer than that. Um, 
uh, on on stuff. So it's a it's a, they're a good opportunity for you to find good quality professional people that know how to haul uh, machinery. Whether you're talking combines or wheel loaders, they they can they can ship it all. So it's a good deal there. So so Parker, give that information one more time. How people reach out to you over at, at uh, Valley Transportation. Just call the office at 800-657-4910 or shoot me an email at pjohnson at valleytransinc.com. Right on. Parker, appreciate you being on the podcast, man. We will catch you again next time. Absolutely. Have a good day, Casey. All right, man. I'm Casey Seymour with Moving Iron Podcast. Check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Moving Iron LLC. Go to LinkedIn to Moving Iron Podcast. See the video version of this. If you've always wondered what Parker looks like, you can go see him on the YouTube channel at and that's the Moving Iron Podcast YouTube channel. You can also go to movingironllc.com for everything Moving Iron related. And while you still can, you can catch us on TikTok. So with that, I'm Casey Seymour with Parker Johnson. Let's go to some iron folks. Out. Iron Podcast is brought to you by these great sponsors. Are you looking to value your equipment more accurately? Target the right buyers and close more deals? Reach your ideal customer? Then look no further. Fusible isn't just about ag data. It's about action. Our best-in-class solution empowers you to value your equipment accurately make informed decisions, and find the perfect prospects. Ignite your dealership's growth at fusible.com slash moving iron dash podcast. Out in the field, every decision counts. You wouldn't plant without testing your soil, so why would you prospect blind? Introducing EDA, your one-stop shop for ag equipment intel. EDA goes beyond specs and prices. You get deep dive data on every piece of equipment like UCC filings that help track ownership changes and uncover potential sales leads. D&B firmographics, which help you understand the financial health and buying power of potential customers. Market trends that help you stay ahead of the curve and insights on equipment demands and pricings. With EDA, you're not just looking at data, you're seeing opportunity. You find the right buyer, sell smarter, and build lasting relationships. Visit edadata.com for your free demo and unlock the power of knowledge. For over 80 years, Iron Solutions has been your go-to data source for ag dealers, lenders, and manufacturers. Get powerful appraisal and value forecasting tools that fuel profitable decisions anytime, anywhere. Get your free demo at ironsolutions.com. Iron Solutions, confidence in every click. Today, there are many ways to finance ag equipment. But nobody delivers simple, fast, or flexible financing like AgDirect. Learn more about your options to buy, lease, and refinance equipment at agdirect.com. Valley Transportation has been hauling ag and construction equipment across the country for the past 33 years. Call Parker at 800-657-4910 for all your trucking needs. At Valley Transportation, our goal is to help you reach yours. This podcast is proudly provided by Axon, helping dealers move more iron for the past 100 years. Find out more at axontire.com. Move more iron with Axon. Moving iron in the 21st century.